Hey guys, I know you've already seen my tutorials about how I do curl formers, but I wanted to give you an updated tutorial using Shea Moisture products. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I'm in love with this Jamaican black castor oil line by Shea Moisture. So I'm going to take some of this leave in and add it to each section that I have sectioned off of my hair right now. So I'm adding some leave in and then I'm going to be taking my shampoo comb and just detangling my hair. Now I normally do this with my detangling brush, but of course I couldn't put my hands on it at the time. Go figure. So I use my shampoo comb to make do. And then I'm going to add a bit of this pure vanilla oil by Carol's Daughter. The markings are completely gone because I use so much of it. But I'm going to add that oil to seal it in and repeat that on every single section. Once I get through that process with all of the sections of my hair, I'm going to take Shea Moisture's Frizz Free Curl Mousse to actually put on each strand when I'm installing the curl formers. So what I'm going to do is simply make a part, add a pretty healthy size of mousse, and then I'm going to put that curl former on the rod given in the pack and simply install it. Step one is to place the curl former on the rod and then you're going to hook your parted hair into the hook and then pull the curl former onto your hair. After you do that, you just wanna make sure the curl former is going in the right direction. Don't be afraid to be generous when using the mousse. I found that when I've actually put a healthy amount of mousse on each of my strands, it actually helps to increase the quality of the curl. And time for a bit of a drink. Here's some cucumber water. It is absolutely delicious and I'm sure it's some type of healthy for my hair. So yeah, just being random. And back to your regularly scheduled programming. So I went on to finish the rest of my curl formers by installing them all over my head. And then I just slept in them overnight. So this is what it looks like once they're finished. I put all of the orange ones on one side and the pink on the other because the curl formers actually are going in different directions and they vary by color. So here I am the next day pulling out the curl formers. All you have to do is straighten out the curl former and gently pull it from your hair. It's a really straightforward and simple process. Doesn't take a whole lot of time to do it. And look at those curls. They're super shiny. There's not a lot of frizz. My ends are a little scraggly because it's time for me to get my ends trimmed. But I just ended up wearing my hair like this for the day because I knew when I got home, I was going to want to come and do a look for you guys. So here's a close up. You can see how shiny my hair is. And just to make sure that I don't get any frizz, I'm going to take some of this vitamin E oil that I got from Trader Joe's and add a little bit it on top each of the curls gently just to be sure there won't be any frizz so this is what it looks like now you can wear it like this or you can pick it out I usually pick it out but I like I said I'm going to work and then I'm gonna come home and pick it out and this is me waving to you guys because I'm on my way to work but now I'm back home in my robe getting ready to do a Valentine's Day look for you guys so I'm adding a bit more of that pure vanilla oil by Carol's daughter my hair is a tiny bit frizzy but I really cannot complain because it did really well all day even with it being a little bit rainy outside so now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna simply just pick out the curls by separating each strand into a couple of different ones so maybe two or three strands and then I'm gonna make sure that after I separate them that the curls remain going in the same direction that they should be curling and of course you can't be done without my favorite part in the process my hair pick so I'm gonna go through and pick out my roots I always like my hair to be a little bit out big whatever you want to call it so I'm just taking my pick and then I'm going through picking out my roots again this step is optional it's up to you it's definitely your preference and after that I'm just gonna shape it how I want it I'm pulling it all off of my face today and letting a few hang in the front and that is about it guys that is my finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial tell me how you do your curl former sets in the description box 
Now, of course, you have to stay tuned because I did this hairstyle for my Valentine's Day look. Now, I would like you to go ahead and check out that video. Like this video for more hair tutorials and make sure to go check out my Valentine's Day look. And like that video for more style videos. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Let's get to work. Bye!